So today we're going to check out another survival game that I've been meaning to check out for a while. This has a playable demo, which we are looking at today on Steam. I believe this is comprised of developers or some ex-developers from Dead Matter. Uh, this is Ramjet Studios, so very much an indie survival game again. And uh, some of the team that have left the Dead Matter uh, development and moved over and made their own survival game. I think Gunschlinger is one of them, which I think I did my Dead Matter interview with when he worked over there. So I will leave a link to that video in the description below. But uh, yeah, this is this is where we're at right now with this new team and their new game. Okay, so it looks like we got a pretty deep character customization here. We can do all of the usual you see in these character customization tools. We won't play with the character customization too much today. We have some stats here. We can do, looks like, three of three starting stats. So let's do agility, medical, and we got something. Vitality, resistance to injury. Because you know I'm going to be bitten as soon as I dive in. So we can choose an occupation here. And uh, let's have a look what we got. Oh, drug dealer. Farmer. Firefighter, game. De let's go, game, game developer, electrician, mechanic, weapon maintenance. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go with game developer. So I'll press escape just quickly, and we are running 1440p ultra settings, and we have some lumen, global illumination, everything else on ultra, the usual. Um, straight off the bat, performance very smooth. Okay. Press tab. We can see our inventory, our gear. Got a medical tab, stats tab. And we've got our shoes. Okay. So we've got leather pants, shoes. Oh, I've dropped them somewhere. Okay, I've just I've just deleted something. I, I think I deleted my shoes. Oh, we got some zombies over there. Okay, I don't think I'm going to melee some zombies just yet. We're going to go into these houses. Oh god, okay. That one snuck on me. Maybe we are going to melee some zombies. <laughs> Press and hold E to search. Doesn't look like we've got anything on that zombie. Got a house here to enter. So planned features, dynamic environments, intelligent AI, customizable characters, uh, usable everything. From opening mailboxes, adjusting faucets, and knocking on doors, and throwing a can at a zombie. Fortification, so you can take over a building or establish a safe house. Uh, defend yourself against raiders, invasions, other players. Uh, Long-term survivalism, hunt fish, trap, grow your own food, chop your own wood. Once cans good run out, you're on your own, so you're going to need that long-term survivalism and vehicles and maintenance. So the usual bunch of stuff for a survival game. Looks like they are planning to go all out. to engage with any infected persons. Do not attempt to exit your home. Please obey all orders given. That's a pretty cool touch, actually. I do like that. Got a glass cleaner in this cabinet, so we can loot all these cabinets. We have a spoon, cooking oil. I can hear like an engine running. Is there like a car running outside? Regenerator somewhere. And of course, Lumen was in the settings there, so obviously this is Unreal Engine 5. I would imagine. We've got storage there. Oh, we can open the garage door. I did not expect that to actually open. Okay. As we can tell, this is a very early build. But it's always nice to have something else to play with and explore in the survival genre. And it's nice to see that this actually runs really well. Did, do I have a flashlight on me? Okay, I have a PSP. Um, there's an onion there. Wait, I sat in a chair. Oh, okay, yeah. You can sit in chairs, but that chair is, like, under the table, so I kind of glitch under the table. Oh, oh, come on, I can't get off. Oh, I'm just skipping from chair to chair. How do I get off? Okay, we did it. Easy. Okay, I drank some fluids out of that sink. Let's have a look at this basket. What have we got? Butter knife. Ooh, actually. That. That could come in handy. Let's eat the sour cream and the uh, lemon. And I'm going to butter knife some, some zombies, I think. 
We got light switches because some lights seem to be on, but there's no. Uh, we've got no light in the kitchen here. Oh, I'm gonna eat that ice cream. You can't leave ice cream to melt, can we? In the apocalypse. United States Department of Defense has issued a critical alert regarding an infectious pathogen detected within the United States of America. This local warning is intended for Franklin County, Clinton County, Essex County, Hamilton County, and St. Lawrence County. Please stay indoors and secure. I'm also wondering if the zombies could break into our house if they were chasing us. Hmm. Check this mail. Oh. Nothing in there. No gun for us. Ah, we'll check this out. We try and aggro this one actually, and we'll see if it can break in. Run! I wouldn't expect it this early in development. Oh. We have 12 bullets. Can we actually use that jigsaw as a weapon? No, it's a tool. Okay. So we got a night sky magazine here, which plus two to weapon handling. We'll give that a read. Oh, a bandage. I want to see what this weapon handling feels like and the animations and sounds. Let's have a look. But definitely not the best we've ever seen, but looking like we've already got a day and night cycle though. I mean, the guns work. Can I just step on a rat? Let me just butter knife this zombie. Oh, okay. This butter knife is OP. Dismemberment is definitely a thing. Can I chop the legs off? Gonna eat that carrot slice, mate, if you don't mind. So you probably a lot more exploration and things you can probably do in this. Oh, he snuck up on me. God, this butter knife is OP. I don't think you need another weapon. This is the end game material right here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to continue to see the videos that I create. I'm going to eat this bread slice. Let me know your thoughts on Vane and obviously the current state of Dead Matter if you want to touch on that as it's kind of related, being ex-developers or some of the ex-developers of Dead Matter. And I'll see you peeps next time.